Hello viewers, welcome to this video. So this video is about Elastic Cloud. So hope you all watched my previous video, the part one of this uh, video, where we saw how to deploy Elasticsearch, Kibana and so on using Elastic Operator. Let me bring up my notes here. So this is what we did in our previous video, right? So we deployed Elastic Operator with custom resource definition. We then deployed Elasticsearch, Kibana, we used port forwarding, we used uh, node port and load balancer, different types of services to access Kibana. And then uh, we verified that we can connect to Elasticsearch. We created uh, some sample data and saw the uh, dashboard. Okay, so that's where we left in the previous video. In this video, we will be deploying FileBeat as a daemon set in our Kubernetes cluster. And this FileBeat uh, will be collecting the logs from the worker nodes. Uh, of all the containers in your Kubernetes cluster and it will send those logs to the Elasticsearch through a secure encrypted connection. For that, we will need to configure certificate. So when we deployed this Elasticsearch, it has created a certificate um, actually as a config map or as a secret, I'm not sure I need to check. But we will be using that certificate. We are going to copy that certificate into the FileBeat container as a volume. Um, it's actually secret. The certificates are created as secrets. We will be mounting that uh, certificate inside the FileBeat container. And then using that certificate, we will be connecting to the Elasticsearch. All right. Okay, let's get started. So um, the setups, the setup is my environment is very similar to the uh, previous video, kubectl version minus minus short. We've got that kubectl get notes lxc list so everything is running in lxc containers kubectl get elastic so i've got uh, the elastic search and kibana uh, the health is uh, green we run, we are running like 7.5.2 version it's all running fine and kubectl get secrets so that's the uh, secret that contains the actual password for the Elastic user that we will be using to log in. And the certificate I was referring to was this one, quick start ES, ES for Elasticsearch, KB for uh, Kibana. So quick start ES HTTP search, sorry, this one, search public. So that's the secret that contains the actual certificate. So that's the one that we will be copying into the FileBeat container, all right? Okay, so we know how to, from my previous video, we know how to uh, get the password for this uh, user. Okay, so, so that's the command, kubectl get secret. We are getting that secret. We are getting the, uh, the actual data and we are decoding the password. And we are storing it in the password variable. Echo dollar password. So that's the password. I'm gonna copy that. kubectl get all. So we have our Elasticsearch pod running, Kibana running. So that's a deployment and a stateful set. And we have the Kibana exposed as a load balancer service. If you if you have exposed it as a node board or you're running kubectl port forward, you should still be able to uh, follow this video. So this one. So I've also got uh, that one added to my etc host file. So I can access the Kibana dashboard uh, using the this DNS name. Okay, so that DNS, I don't know what that sound is. Okay, anyway, let's go to the browser, https logserver.example.com colon 5601. And we'll be using the elastic user and elastic and the password we just copied. Okay, so that's Kibana dashboard, we will be setting up FileBeat. We will be creating the index pattern. So at the moment, if you look under management index patterns, we don't have any index. So our Elasticsearch cluster is very clean. We don't have any data stored in our Elasticsearch cluster. We'll be creating a new index pattern once we have some data in our Elasticsearch. So, okay, let's go ahead and configure FileBeat now. Okay, so FileBeat Kubernetes. Running FileBeat on Kubernetes. I'll put a link to this page in the description if you want it. And you can see here, we've got the manifest here, FileBeat Kubernetes.yaml. And here, um, at the time of 
recording this video it says there's a warning it says the docker image for filebeat container is using version 8.0.0 but however it's not currently available for this version docker image is currently not available for this version but i don't know why they would be using that version in the manifest file when there is no uh, 8.0.0 version of docker container okay anyway i'm going to copy this command we are just going to download the filebeat manifest and paste it okay and i'm going to open that filebeat kubernetes.yaml okay so that's the manifest file that we are going to deploy but before deploying we need to do few changes to this all right the first thing i'm going to do is the namespace if you look at namespace cube system namespace is cube system and cluster role binding so everything is being deployed in the cube system namespace so it won't work if you deploy this in the cube system namespace it has to be deployed file bit has to be deployed in the same namespace where we deployed our elastic and kibana cluster not kibana because we deployed elastic search and kibana in the same cluster it only matters where you deployed your elastic search so we deployed the elastic search cluster in the default namespace so we need to change this whatever we deploy regarding file bit it has to be deployed in the same namespace as elastic search okay Let's copy that and change every occurrence of cube system to default namespace. And I'm just changing cube system to default and change it. So now we are deploying all the resources in the default namespace. All right, so the next thing is we need to change the container image. So that's the daemon set file bait. The container we are deploying, the image we are deploying is file bait version 8.0.0, which is clearly not available. If you go to Docker Hub and search for Filebeat, you won't see 8.0.0. So at the time of recording this video, the latest version is 7.5.2. So I've updated that. And the next thing we are going to do is we need to be using a certificate, right? So this is the Filebeat configuration and it's stored as a config map in our cluster. The name is Filebeat-config and here is the config and under output.elasticsearch i'm going to add an option so this output.elasticsearch i'm i'm saying that use this certificate to connect to the elasticsearch okay ssl dot certificate underscore authorities colon and it will be etc certificate ca dot crt ca certificate okay so file beat when deployed will use this certificate under etc certificate ca dot crt so at the moment this certificate is not available in the container we need to make it available within the file beat container so for that under daemon set we have volume mounts and volume so i'm going to create a volume from a secret okay so name is give it any name i'm going to give a uh, search and the type of the volume is secret secret name be careful attention to the uh, case so yes is lowercase and yen is uppercase so now we are going to copy uh, the secret that contains the certificate all right so we are basically creating a volume from a secret kubectl get secrets it's this one here quick start es http search public copy that and paste it okay so that's done and now we are going to mount this volume inside our container under volume mount give it a name the name has to be the same name that you have given under the volume so which is search search and then mount path where we are going to mount this volume inside the container so we are going to mount this in etc certificate ca.crt so that's the uh, path we've given in the file bit configuration right next read only everything is like camel case the first uh, letter of the first word is lowercase and from then on all uppercase uh, the first letter of the uh, subsequent words read only set that to true 
we don't want any process to change the certificate so read only is true and then sub path is ca.crt okay so that's done and finally we need to do a couple more changes if i go to uh, the daemon set so we are under the daemon set elasticsearch host so this file we needs to talk to the elasticsearch so we need to give it the name of the service the elasticsearch service kubectl get service so the elasticsearch service is this one so copy that quick start es http and paste it and don't forget to put https https colon double slash quick start es dash http and then finally we are using the elastic as the username and we need to change the password so we have our password here copy that password and paste it here okay so that's it that's all we need in our file beat manifest save that kubectl create minus f file beat kubernetes dot yaml we are finally deploying it okay so it has created a config map a daemon set cluster role cluster role binding and a service account called file beat kubectl get all and it's already running file beat so as this is a daemon set it's running on uh, the two worker nodes it's not running on the master node because the master node has got a taint associated with it kubectl describe node k master and uh, if you look in here it should have a taint taints okay that's it no schedule so in no parts will be scheduled on the master node because of this taint so that's why you are seeing kubectl get all file beat which is of type daemon set and that runs on the two worker nodes that we have okay kubectl get all okay that's running fine we can have a quick look at the file beat log from one of the uh, file beat pod kubectl logs minus f file beat okay um file beat so that's the uh template pattern file beat dash 7.5.2 that's fine um attempting to connect to Elasticsearch version 7.5.2 so you can see from the log it's connecting to https quick start es okay that's all running fine attempting to connect um okay all right so and you can see here Connection to the uh, backend Elasticsearch is established, is successfully connected. So now we can go to the Kibana dashboard. Kibana dashboard and if I click on create index pattern, file beat, yep. So that's the uh, index pattern that we have now, select that next step and select the timestamp as the filter field create index pattern and now we should be able to see the logs from all the containers in our kubernetes cluster so if i go to discover tab here for the last 15 minutes cool so there we go so we've got all the logs from all the containers sorry about that noise i need to figure out where it's coming from it's something in my ubuntu machine okay so uh, those are the logs and uh, if you want you can uh, specify a filter for example uh, pod dot name kubernetes dot pod dot name equals if you want to look at all the logs from one of the pod for example quick start es default zero which is the elastic search pod and click on update so it's showing all the logs from the Elasticsearch pod for the last 15 minutes, as you can see here. Okay, now let's quickly create a quick dashboard. And uh, the dashboard link is here. Create a new dashboard. So in order to create a dashboard, you need to create some visualizations. So either you can click here, visit the Visualize app, or you can go to Visualize, create a new visualization, what type of visualization you want to create. I'm gonna choose Pi. You can play with it, but just to show you, just for completeness sake, 
I'm going to create a simple visualization and dashboard. Select the index pattern. So basically, it gives you the count of everything. So now at the moment, we've got 1,438 logs. Uh, from our index file bit index okay so here metrics is count you can change the metrics to anything you want let's leave it as count and under buckets add a bucket split slices and I'm going to choose terms select a field let's say we want to create a visualization showing the number of logs that are coming from individual nodes based on the individual nodes we want to see how many logs are coming on different worker nodes okay i'm going to say node.name if you start typing node.name you can select kubernetes.node.name order by count descending five the last five nodes we only have two worker nodes so that should be fine if you want to create a custom label you can and then you can hit this play button okay so now we can see um k worker 2 has 33 percent 33 percent of the logs are coming from k worker 2 and 66 percent is coming from k worker 1 if you want to see more detailed graph we can change the field from node.name to part.name kubernetes.part.name so basically we want to see uh the number of logs coming from individual parts um it, the, the idea is just to find out which container is emitting lots of logs into Elasticsearch, right? So if I click play now, okay, so the part here, which is cube state metrics. So that's the part that's sending 62% of the logs are from this particular part. And then 29% from the quick start KB, which is the Kibana part and so on, okay? So now you're going to save this, let's say logs count by container or by parts. Save. And now we are good to create the dashboard. So that's just one visualization. You can create more visualizations and you can add them to your dashboard. And if I go to dashboard, add, and that's the, uh, the visualization that we created. If you don't have any visualization here, you can click uh, here, create a new visualization and so on. So that's the visualization that we created. Cool, so that's, we just added one panel and you can also customize this panel. Customize time range, add to panel. So now uh, the individual visualization that you add to the dashboard, you can attach the uh, date range. So for example, this is for the last 15 minutes and you can click on that and say I want for the last 24 hours or last seven days. Let's go for last 24 hours and click update. Okay, you can see the uh, the pie chart has changed a bit. And the first one is cube state metrics, then Kibana, elastic operator, elastic search, file beat and so on. Okay, cool. Um, I think that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Yep. Okay, so hope you found this useful. Um, Please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions or any comments about this one, leave me a comment. I'll be happy to help you. And thank you so much for your time watching this video. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.